And we officially have, without further ado, three, two, one, Mr. Brian Lewis, everybody. on the screen there nice 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 so that was uh, ain't no mountain high enough ain't no mountain high enough i was telling jason earlier today i was kind of in the mood for some uh some 60s tunes today i don't know if you guys uh you, know, you play your different songs and sometimes you're in the mood for a different group of tunes and i tell you what man I, I was listening to some of these soul tunes so i got some al green coming up for you i got some temptations but I'm going to mix it up a little bit, too. I'm going to do some old standards. Uh, for those of you who know me, I, one of my backgrounds is, is strongly in big band and jazz music. So I'm going to do some Misty. I'm going to do some, uh, some fun stuff today. So thank you so much for, for joining us today on Zoom. I noticed we're, uh, we're already approaching that 200 number. How about that, Jason? Nice. Hey, I'm going to unmute everybody. Give Brian a round of applause for that first number. Let's hear you. Clap, everybody. Right. Uh, right, uh, what's your next number that you uh, 17. 17. <laughs> song. For the next song. For the next song. Sorry. Okay. So. All right. Here we go. I told you guys I was in a 60s mood. I'm going to do a little bit of. Who had that? Nope. Yeah, go ahead and mute everybody if you can. I'm going to do. Uh, one of my favorite R&B tunes. This is one that gets played at a, at a lot of weddings I've found, but I really like this one. The name of the style is called My Gal, and I think you'll know what the song is. Oh, yeah.
All right, let's give him a round of applause, everybody. So before we go on here, uh, Mr. Brian, we have a couple questions for you in the comments. So let me go ahead and switch cameras here. Hello, everybody. So uh, great job. I'm over here dancing to every song you're playing. I got to tell you. So we are, uh, let's see here. We have a couple things. Uh, one of the comments are, love the shoes, Brian. Oh, yeah. I wore my fancy shoes today. Uh, I'm going to go start calling the other two people because I'm going to start working calls. Oh, I gotta <laughs> these are my, these are my piano. Oh, they are shoes. They're not great for playing pedals, but when I mess up on the pedals, then I have an excuse. So we have another uh, question. Where can I find My Girl? What rhythm style did you use for that song? My Girl is actually a signature style. Uh, that some of you have, but on this particular arrangement, Brian used a different called, rhythm. Called My Gal. There you go. All right, go ahead. All righty. I'm going to kick it off with another one here. We're going to change gears. I, I told you I'd have a bunch of 60s tunes for you today and kind of some of that Motown Detroit feel, but I'm going to change gears here for a second. I'm going to play you guys one of my favorite songs of all time, and I have to tell you, this has special meaning to me because this was my grandparents' Uh, favorite song. This was like their song. And my uh, my mom's maiden name, my grandparents' name, last name was Star, S-T-A-R-R. -R. And so their song was Stardust. And that was like their wedding song and everything. So um, I'm going to play Stardust for you guys. I'm going to use the style called Strings 101. So this is a little bit of a slower song, but I hope you guys will enjoy this. This is Hoagie Carmichael's Stardust.
right, let's give it up for Brian Lewis, everybody. All right, a little stardust for you guys. We had, uh, we had a couple other comments I'm going to mention, but before I do, Brian, we're up to 194 people. Oh, my God. I just want to tell everybody, thank you so much for being on today. We are so happy and so fortunate that we can bring you music live to your home. And uh, so if you miss any of the concerts or classes, as you've heard many times now, or maybe you've just heard for the first time, YouTube.com, Fletcher Music Centers, you can rewatch the concerts or any of the classes that you miss. So one of the questions here that we had was actually, can you name all the tempos that you use before you play? And I'd like to say a little bit about that. Tempo is subjective. Some people faster than others slower than others and so it's really up to you if it's too fast slow it down if it's too slow speed it up you have anything you want to add there mr brian here he is um i don't think i could even name all the tempos i used just in that last song i i kept changing it because it was not quite the right tempo and uh when you're in the middle of a song it's never too late to change the tempo and i, I started it off a little faster than i might have liked and uh, and i slowed it down a little bit and that's okay so um, yeah, your, your tempo is, is, uh, is totally up to you and it's always changeable. So if it's something that you want to change in the middle of a song, you should know where your tempo buttons are, make it faster or slower as needed. Well, Amy's iPhone to everyone, it says, I love strings 101. Was that what you used for that? That was strings 101. Well, you named it. Good job, Amy. And then a couple other comments. Beautiful, lovely song. I love all the songs you're playing today. Thank you so much, everyone. What's next up, Brian? Well, let's see. I think I'll uh, I'll go back to one of our uh, 60s songs here, and uh, this is going to be one. This is uh, I don't know if Eric Garson is on today, but he loves this rhythm style called jazzy. He would always say, "Brian, play something jazzy." Like, what does that mean, Eric? Well, how about I use the style jazzy? That would be that would be perfect. So, this is another 60s tune. Uh, this is an Al Green tune. I was actually just listening to this on my way into work today. Really like this song. This is uh, called "Let's Stay Together." Oh, yeah. Oh, somebody liked that. I got an oh, yeah, before I... Yeah, that, that was me. Yeah. Woo, all right. Well, now I got to live up to it. Thank you. 
I'm over here dancing. I'm getting my calorie workout today. I'm dancing all over the store. Brian, let's give him a hand, everybody. All right. Hey, Brian. That was a fun one. That was a fun one. So what do you say we switch it up a little bit here, JB? We're gonna we're gonna change gears a little bit. Um, I told you I was in a I was in a '60s kind of. Hello. Tell him tell him I'll take a message. Okay. So I played Stardust for you guys earlier. Um, I'm gonna play another tune that is uh, I think from around that era, but this is from one of my favorite musicals. Uh, My Fair Lady, and there's uh, a really great tune, or actually a number of really great tunes in that one, but um, one of my favorites is On the Street Where You Live, and uh, I want to make sure I get the, get the music right, so I am going to read it off my iPad and make sure I don't screw that one up musically. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to turn on a Latin style, so I'm going to put on our Bossa Nova style. Save up to $500 with the yep. Save up to $500. That sounds good. Well, that's because they want you to clap. Okay. Nobody says that. I know. Wow. Sorry, we're hearing a bunch of feedback on our uh, speaker yeah. here. Mute. So we're going to start our, uh, our song here on the street where you live. Uh, we're going to start off on the Latin. And in the middle, I'm going to hit the big band button. We're going to go to big band. So... This should be a fun one. Um, This is a uh, Frederick Lowe song from uh, My Fair Lady.
Right. Let's give him a round of applause, everybody. Hey, Brian, come on, one, huh? come on over That's here. Come on over here next to me, Brian. We got two hundred and three people. Oh, we broke the two hundred oh, mark. Here Look we at are. Uh, now there we are. Hey, everybody, here we are. Everybody, give him a wave. Hello, hello. Two hundred. There's nine pages of people here. Look at that. Wow. I'm so happy, everybody. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for being on here. What's your next number over there, Brian, on the organ? What are you playing next? Well, you know what? Um, and I, like a small I don't know if anybody saw your concert. Side. I'm sure there are a bunch of people who saw your show last and week. I like a tool. And uh, one of the numbers you played was Misty, which is one of my oh, favorite songs. Yeah. So do you mind if I also play Misty? You can play Misty all you want. Oh, good. Okay. Actually, it's getting a little Misty in here. Is it a little Misty? A little I, thought misty that was just, I thought that was just me. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do, I got to tell you guys, this is really cool. So if uh, I assume everybody's hip to YouTube, you should go check this version of Misty out because it's typically played as a ballad. And that's how Jason played it for you last week. And so I thought I'd give it a maybe a different spin because it is one of my favorite songs too and uh there's a there's an organist or it was an organist uh named richard groove holmes his nickname was groove holmes played the hammond b3 organ played a really cool version of misty and uh so what i'm going to do for you is i'm going to start off with a little piano intro and uh so for any piano fans out there you'll get kind of a slower intro to the song and then we're going to kick in the rhythm style and it's going to be in the kind of in the vein of Groove Holmes version of Misty. And if you like this, I would look it up on YouTube. Groove Holmes Misty. the mail.
right, let's give it up for Brian, everybody. Wow. Boy, that's the fastest bestie I've ever heard, man. Let's give him some fun. Oh, you have fans. You have all your fans right here. In fact, you have 200 fans right now. You know, my biggest fan is sitting right next to me. Yeah, it's. Hey, <laughs> now hold on. Yeah, cool. Thanks, everybody, again for being on. What's your next number there, Brian? In fact, uh, before you go on, I'm so sorry. So pleasing to the ear, Kathy Stallings, awesome. Oh, thank hey, you, Kathy, Kathy, hope you're doing well. Uh, they changed styles to what? Uh, we'll come back to that question in just a second. And the other question that was asked is, what app is he using? So uh, those of you who have an iPad, you have an app called Fourscore. It doesn't cost a lot of money. It does not come with any music. You have to upload your own music, but he is using Fourscore. Uh, back in the day, we would go to gigs carrying bags and bags of books, and uh, we would have to uh, – let me un – let me Okay, there we go. All right, we'd have to carry all these books around, and now uh, you have Fourscore. So we can have tens of thousands of songs on Fourscore. So go ahead, Brian. What, what rhythm background did you change to there? Uh, on the last one there? Uh, I put on Chicago Swing for that last one. Did a little piano intro and then Chicago Swing. All right. We're going to get right into some more music here. Um, I think I'm going to play a Disney tune. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Now, those of you who saw my concert a few weeks ago, you might have heard this one. And, uh, you know, it, it is a repeat. It's one that I play a lot. And I think that's important, though. I think when you're, playing a, when you're playing a song, whether it's just for you and your cat or your dog or your spouse, or you're playing a concert for 200 people, you, you got to play the stuff you like. That's really important as a hobbyist or as any style of musician to play the stuff that you really like. And I really like this song. So just a quick bit of background on this one. I am going to use a, a Broadway style that's called Epic Movie. And this is from, I, I told you guys I was in a 60s mood. Uh, this is a, an 80s song, I think. This was uh, uh, from The Little Mermaid. And this was, I believe, 89, this one came out. And this is called Part of Your World from Little Mermaid.
All right. Woohoo. What up, everybody, for Mr. Brian Lewis? Time flies, huh? We're already running up on our hour mark. I can't believe it. Well, I really, really appreciate everybody joining us today. It was so fun to uh, hit that 200 mark today. Um, I'm going to close today with a, uh, with a patriotic number. I know we got July 4th kind of coming around the corner here. And uh, I would like to do uh, an arrangement that I, I originally did with a band of mine a while back, a couple years ago, for uh, America the Beautiful. And uh, we did this kind of in the style that uh, Ray Charles did it. So Ray did kind of a, it was almost like a gospel version of it. It was kind of an R&B gospel -y version. And, and I always thought that was pretty cool. So I kind of borrowed from him and, uh, and his arrangers and tried to do my own little arrangement for it. So hopefully you'll enjoy this. This is uh, America the Beautiful. A lot of compliments on here for you, Brian. Beautiful job, Brian. Loved it. One of my favorite songs. I've had it stuck in my head for three weeks. Great. America the Beautiful.
All right, everybody, give it up for Rachel. I mean, Brian Lewis, everybody. <laughs> give it up for Brian Yay! Lewis. Yes. We're so happy to be able to bring this to your home. Great, great job. Great songs. Great playing. Loved it all. Love you for doing the concerts. Thank you for doing the concerts. Wonderful version of America. Lots of great comments. Thank you so much for the comments. Uh, I don't see Robert here. Is Robert on? He's not. He'll go ahead. Okay, and the, uh, so it's all you here, here, Brian. All righty. Well, we do have a couple of quick announcements for you guys. Don't uh, don't head out just yet. We still got almost our 200 people on today. That's nice. So, very very brief announcements today, and that is that next Friday, week from today, we're going to have another concert, but it's going to be totally different from anything that we've ever done. Totally right. So we're going to have four people playing four different instruments next week for your concert. And it's going to be more than a concert. But you're going to have four people on four different instruments in at least two states playing for you next Friday at 2 o'clock. So our Zoom musical next week is going to be very exciting. Make sure you keep your eyes uh, open for those emails that come. And uh, make sure you join us again for our show next week. It's going to be a really, really good time. Um, I also want to give a quick commercial. Um, we are coming up to the end of the month here, which, as you know, is our best time for, for deals. So if there's any instrument that you might have had your eye on, anything that uh, you've been talking to your local staff about, this is a really good time. We've, we've been offering some extra, extra good deals anyway, but even better towards the end of the month. So if there's anything that you have any questions about, any uh, product demos that you might have attended on Zoom, that you have any questions about, make sure you contact that local staff member at your Fletcher Music Center store and, uh, and ask them about what kind of a special opportunity they can offer you on that. Um, I also do want to give a little plug to our YouTube channel. So I know a lot of you all have gone to our YouTube, and this is really important because not only can you get all of the um, concerts that we've done, you can get all of the classes, all the demos, everything goes on our YouTube channel. And that's great for you to review. So whether you just want to watch a concert again or whether you want to review one of the classes that you might have, you know, maybe you missed something or you want to review some of the information, this is really good for everybody. So we have, uh, I think, upwards of 350 subscribers right now, which is pretty cool. So if you go to our YouTube channel, it's very easy to remember. It's youtube.com. That's Y-O-U-T-U-B-E.com slash Fletcher Music Centers, and that centers with an S at the end. You go there, all of the stuff that you've been attending is on there. So if you want to review anything, it's a really great opportunity for you to get to do that. Um, we will also be updating our website in July, so all of our class offerings will be on there. And that's another thing you can go to. That's FletcherMusic.com. And uh, I think that's about it for the announcements. I think. Do you want? Do we want to do one more tune before we? Uh, before we sign up? What do you think, Sean? Should oh. we do one more? One more tune. One more. One tune. more tune. Okay. We do one more. No, sir. You do one more, right? Okay. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one more song for you. And uh, this is a. Uh, I guess I'm gonna do a, a standard here. So I think I'm going to do a standard for you. Uh, I did a bunch of the 60s music that I wanted to. I wrote down a bunch of tunes I wanted to do. And, you know, you think you have enough planned out for an hour. And it actually is about four hours worth of material, it seems like. So <laughs> we're going to just do one more. And uh, this is one of my favorite tunes. It's, it's called There Will Never Be Another You. And this is a, a standard that a lot of the jazz guys had kind of played. And what I thought I would do just as kind of a for fun thing is a little bit different. I'm going to put on that Chicago swing style again. I'm going to bump up the tempo a little bit. And what I'm going to do, some of you all know that you, if you do a no chord, you just get the drummer, right? So what I'm going to do is just do the drums and then I'm going to play piano up on the top keyboard. All right, so here we go. There will never be another you. Oh, yeah. That's that jazz.
I'm sorry. I got I got to stop. I'm sorry, guys. I hope if, if you're enjoying that, we got to cut it short just for a second here. You know, two hands is really good, but you know what might even be better? Wait, wait a second. What happened? I think happened? I think four hands might even be better than two. I you don't have four hands. I well, uh, I as as much as I'd like to play with these shoes, I don't think that they play themselves though. They're they're kicking the bass pretty good, I got to tell you. Well, but I want to play the actual keys though with four hands. Four hands. Well, it's just me and you in the store, so. Jason, you have hands, right? Jason Bontrager, ladies and gentlemen.
That was fun. All right. Give it up for Jason Bontra. All right, there everybody. Let me switch camera here. I can hear everybody. And thank you, everybody, for being on today. Let's give it up one more time for, here we are, Mr. Brian Lewis. All right. Hello, yes. hello, hello. What a great time. I didn't plan on that at all. Good job. Oh, that was fun. Good that was fun. Good job. Wow. Good job. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us today. This has been a blast. Hope to see you soon. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel, Fletcher Music. FletcherMusic.com, our website, youtube.com slash Fletcher Music Centers. And uh, we will see you next week for some great uh, variety of classes. Uh, in all caps. Awesome. What a wonderful hey, way to end the week. Thank you, Brian and Jason. Hey, thank you, everybody, for being on. Next week, like Brian said, we have something very special. So make sure you tune in. We'll tell you more about it as the month of July comes around. And once again, it's the end of the month. And uh, just like normal, we're doing some end of the month specials. So see your personal assistant, see your store, and make sure you get all the help that you can right now. One more time, if we can go to gallery view there, Brian, we'll see everybody. Wave to Brian and wave to all us. It's right. good to see you. Hi. Thank you, everybody, again. Bye. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Okay. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you next week. Great to know.